So welcome to John, Paul, George, Ringo and Damien. <laughs> so it's uh, the Beatles. Um, first thing in the morning in Liverpool, according to the library building clock, it's five to six. So what am I doing here? Um, well, actually, uh, I've just taken my brother and his wife to the airport. So I was up at four. And uh, you, well, you, if, you've, if you've watched my films before, you know I'm not a... Uh, uh, a kind of a city person um, but as I was coming through Liverpool I thought I'd stop blue sky a bit chilly and take some photos and uh, here we are with the Beatles and it's quite nice because the sun's coming up behind the Beatles so I'm uh, I'm working on a, a shot with the guys the Fab Four that is making the most of that sun and shadow so I'm just going to do a couple of images here because I'll explain in a second why I've done that but you can see hopefully the sun is doing a really nice job in giving me a long shadow so I'm going to move back a bit sorry about the uh... actually look at that that's nice isn't it <laughs> so I've got got the fab four right in the middle and look at these shadows coming down so if I underexpose the sun's right behind so if I underexpose I get the shadow and then I'm going to overexpose so I've got the fab four and I can blend those together um, I might go a bit mid actually just the <laughs> so what I hope I get there is the Fab Four, sun behind and, and shadows shooting down forward. But actually what I'm what I'm hoping to do is get some shots of the So for those of you who don't know uh Liverpool, this is the Liver Building, uh the Cunard Building and the Port of Liverpool building. Known as the Three Graces. It's a World Heritage site. It's right on the waterfront, so River Mersey is there. Albert Dock is down there. Um, it's been photographed a billion times, um, but I think it's quite, kind of quite, it's a nice morning. I was driving past and I thought, I'll see what I can do. So as the sun comes up, uh, it's casting some nice light on the liver building uh, and the, obviously the famous liver bird up there. So I'll, I'll, I'm going to have a scoot around and see what I can get uh, and hopefully something good. But I might do a bit around here and then head towards the Albert Dock, but, uh, but we'll see. Well, that was enough of me and the uh, Fab Four. So, uh, come a little bit um, just further. So, Fab Four, where that kind of bridge is over the canal. I, I was just there near the guy on the horse. So, I've just come back a bit to make the most. So, the sun's coming up over the city. So, you can see, hopefully, just shining nicely on the side of the Liver building, just picking out some of the detail. Um, and, uh, I've put my polarizer in because I've got this blue sky up um, up here and a nice bit of clouds. So I'll show you my composition, but I'm working. There's this this canal. This is relatively kind of recent addition to the city centre. This canal. So if you've uh, if you've got a canal barge, you can come and kind of sail right past. Um, but the Mersey ferry terminal here. Um, the leading lines of kind of the canal, these kind of stone benches, and then the liver building. So my composition is bright and so you can see. Got a liver building over here, the uh, Mersey Ferry Terminal over here, and then these leading lines. And there's lots of leading lines, lots of converging lines. So hopefully it turns out decent. As I'm pre-focused on top of the liver building, uh, and I'm on F16 to give me some kind of big depth of field uh, and I'm hoping that works as a composition the um, the polarizer is is giving me some kind of blue skies a nice bit of cloud coming down so I think the composition is quite nice um, you know <laughs> said said a few minutes ago it's not my usual thing but what I'm going to do now is I've taken that uh, with a live ability there I'm going to try a panorama um, so I, I need both hands free I'll just try, it, it, it's probably too much to try and get the whole uh, three graces in because the distortion will be too much. But uh, I'll give it a try. It might just be live building, the Cunard building.
Um, probably a bit too much to try and go that way as well. But I'm uh, going to give it a go. Well, I'm now in the Albert Dock, um, as the name suggests. It's a dock. So <laughs> it's an old dock. It's been converted. Um, shops, restaurants, um, apartments. It's a big tourist attraction. Um, but the uh, reason I'm here, and there's a nice echo. Uh, <laughs> what time is it now? It's about half past six, I think, according to the library building. Nobody else around. At lunchtime today, this will be heaving. Um, but there's fantastic reflection. Uh, so the Tate, so the, the, the art gallery, the Tate is at the end here. And we've got this side of the dock being illuminated um, by the sun leading along to Liver Building in the distance and um, Museum of Liverpool. So it's a fairly uh, kind of um, straightforward composition. I'm, I'm, I'm working on using kind of the, the, the perspective of, of the, the, the building kind of working down towards the, uh, the museum and the library building. So got the kind of perspective going in this direction. Um, I might fiddle with that just a little bit to move it up. Um, I'm exposing on the brick because it's the brightest part of the image. Um, in fact, I'm going to expose a little bit because it's those, um, those red columns are, are, are shining quite nicely. But you can hopefully see there's a lovely, lovely reflection. Uh, in fact, I'm going to try and go around there in a minute and see if I can get a reflection um, that way. One of the challenges um, is there's loads of nice boats, but uh, loads of masts and poles and stuff get in the way. So finding a place where there's a clean shot is quite hard. Um, but look at that, it's like, it's like glass. So but I'm going to work my way around there so I can get a nice reflection looking across. I tried the reflection shots, but they, uh, they're a bit boring, to be honest. Um, I'll, <laughs> I might post it, but um, yeah, it, was, it wasn't attractive. Um, so I've come round the kind of far end of the Albert Dock, and my plan had been, there's a, there's a bit of a jetty uh, down there where you can um, use the water in the dock to get a reflection of the arena, which I'll show you in a second. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's all these um, inflatables. I don't know if you see those big blue things, but it's just full of inflatables. There's obviously some kind of activity thing, but I've come to the arena, um, which is quite, you know, if, if you're into modern architecture, I think it's quite attractive. Um, but uh, as actually, I, I went up to the other side of the eye, the Liverpool wheel, um, but it's, it's too cluttered, so I just couldn't get an image. And I was just walking past, and I just ha as I was walking past, I happened to turn and thought, actually, there's a really nice, um, this, this kind of handrail and wall curves and matches the, the next wall curve, which matches the shape of the arena. So I hope you get that nice, nice shape. So I thought I'd work on a, so, I'll brighten that hugely. So you've got the wall starting in the kind of the, the bottom left and shooting round. Uh, and hopefully it matches. Um, but I'm underexposing quite considerably. Because I'm um I've exposed for the sky. Um but I'll be able to claim that back <laughs> in uh Photoshop. That's probably a bit too dark. Um but I'll go a little little bit brighter. About there, we'll see how that goes. Um, it's kind of one of those architectural shape shots. Might be all right. <laughs> might be something I like. Might be something I hate. Um, interestingly, there's a photography display on um, Britain from the Earth, um, which I might have a, a scoot around. But I'll see if I can get a, a kind of. A, I quite like that angle. Uh, sometimes you, you, you come, you take a shot, and you think. Mm, I quite like, you know, I, 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 as soon as I saw that shot, I thought I like the angle. Then you might, you end up moving around thinking, oh, I'll, I'll go here and I'll, I'll go here. But actually your first shot was the best. It's a bit like, it's a bit like when you go shopping. Uh, and I'm sure many of you experience this. You kind of the first thing you see, you know, I do this all the time when, when I go out shopping with my wife, the, the, you pick up the first thing, you think, oh, I'll go and look a few more places. And then you, you end up going back to the first thing and buying that. Um, it's a bit like that. If your first shot's good, great don't think oh, i've got to move around and try loads of different shots first shot's great get it in the bag and move on to something else well, that's my plan anyway the 
bells of the library building are just chimes tell me it's seven o'clock and still not many people around. So uh, I'll come back into the Albert Dock. So just to give you the geography, there's the library building and you can see over the, the top, the, um, uh, the wheel. So I was over the side of that part of the Albert Dock, but I've come back and uh, I'm looking at this boat. Um, in fact, there's a couple of boats for a composition. Um, sun is shining nicely. So this is the Tate just here. And uh, I'm working on, hopefully, quite a nice composition. I'll, I'll brighten it so you can see. So I've got these ropes leading in from the bottom uh, right hand corner. Uh, and obviously panorama, I think it, it lends itself the going to take that image there. I think it lends itself um, to a panorama because you've got so many vertical lines, the, the masts, uh, the windows, the columns. So everything is, is, is vertical um, in, this, in this image. And I think that makes you think better do a, a, a portrait. Um, it also helps that kind of these lines come in from the ropes and then you've got a kind of a, a, a line coming in like that and then a line going up like that. So that's the theory anyway. I have to admit, kind of architectural photography is not my strong point. <laughs> so I'm kind of experimenting a bit and uh, I'm, I'm hoping that that turns out quite nice, but we will see. I'm back <laughs> to more or less where it all began. So obviously there's the live building and the, the Beatles statue is just down there. Um, but this is the Museum of Liverpool. Um, up until quite recently, these steps were closed. There was some issue with um, the safety or something. So these steps are being closed. And it's the first time I've been here that they've been open. They, they might have been open for a while, but I've not been. Um, so this is called the Pier Head. So I've not been to the Pier Head for quite a long time. So steps are open. And I came up just to see what the view was like. But what caught my eye? with these shapes of the steps. So got the steps and the kind of glass walkway and whatnot. So I thought I'd try, um, I went all arty farty. I thought I'd try composition with the liver building in, but with these steps in, in the foreground. So you've got the, the, the uh, old, so liver buildings, 104 years old, some of that. I think, don't quote me, but I think 1912 it opened. <laughs> my, eh, somewhere in my head it says that. But I thought you've got the, the, the old kind of library building, Cunard building, and the very new kind of architectural shape. So I'll just show you the composition. It might not work, but so the challenge is <laughs> sun shining on a library building and this is in shadow, so I'll have to bracket. But so I've got the composition with the library building up in, in this rule of thirds here. And then the, the shape of the steps down in the bottom here. Um, and uh, I've got my polarizer in. Um, I'll go. I focused on uh, the liver building. So sorry, I, I was on F four then for some reason. I must have dodged it in my um, when I was moving. So taking my reading off the liver building because it's quite bright where the clock is, um, but I'm bracketing. So you'll have heard three shots that are bracketing so that I hopefully get uh, some uh, detail in these steps. It helps that they're quite bright anyway. I don't, you know, the, the, the stone that they're made out is, is, is light. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought it might be quite, quite an interesting kind of contrast. It might be a load of old tut, <laughs> but yeah, it might work. Um, but I'm getting close now to thinking probably time to go and kind of find a bacon butty somewhere. But anyway, oh look, one of the things I, I love about kind of living kind of near the river is you get just, there's two ferries, they're probably stand a line going out to Ireland, but there's one just coming in and I love watching them. Could, could spend the day just watching the ships come up. You know, there's a oil tanker down there at the um, Tramio, uh, oil, uh, yeah, oil terminal. I live, so that's the Wirral over there. I live over on, 
on the other side. So anyway, try for some more compositions and uh, since <laughs> there's more people now, I think the Beatles statue attracts quite a lot of people. So, you know, when I was first here, nobody else around, but obviously tourists starting to arrive. If you've watched my channel before, you'll know now that this is like me being an imposter. <laughs> what am I looking at? What am I looking at? You know, I, I, I love being in the mountains, love being at the coast. Not really a fan of the cities. What, what am I looking at here? <laughs> so I'll show you what I'm looking at. And I apologize because it's really kind of, it's almost like art school stuff and it's, <laughs> it's bad but it might be good it, 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 it's, it's so bad it's good uh, so looking at these lines going that way and I'm looking at that building going that way um, is, it, is it just me or does this look like the um, Jawa's uh, spaceship on Tatooine in Star Wars you can imagine them coming out there it's just, I just every time I see these I think Jawa's Jawa's are about to arrive anyway <laughs> How bad is how bad is this? I've, I've come over all kind of sixth form art school. Um, got these lines going that way. Got this blackness of, of the top of the building and the, the windows at the bottom. I'm just trying to get that line right on the rule of thirds like that. And then take that. And it's just a, it's just a picture of lines. And it's not, it's not my thing. So I, I, I don't know, I, I'll post it. I'll, I'll process it and post it. And you might decide it's a load of old rubbish or you might like it. I, I genuinely don't know. I don't know if it's got any artistic merit. <laughs> it might just be kind of, because I've been wandering around a bit and trying to think of different compositions, I've gone a bit kind of stir crazy or it might have some artistic merits, but let me know in the comments. It's eight o'clock. If you can hear that. Although I think mm, might be a little bit fast. <laughs> so back to where it all began. Gongs, gonging. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the um, quick trip around Liverpool. Uh, it's about two hours. Walked up and down the um, pier head a bit, around the Albert Dock. Took some images of the Liver building. Uh, just taking some reflection images um, uh, on Man Island, that's kind of big black building, or well, that series of black buildings is called Man Island, so I took some reflections on there, but then the a bus, pull, <laughs> bus pulled up right in the way, so I was going to film a bit, um, but uh, kind of bus spoiled the shot. So um, I kind of hope you enjoyed the trip, uh, a bit different from me. As I said earlier, I'm not a natural um, landscape, uh, landscape, I'm not a natural, um, uh, architectural photographer just going to walk you down a bit to the water's edge so yeah I hope you in, in, enjoyed the trip if you're ever in this neck of the woods it's always nice to come uh, I'd recommend it either early in the morning or at night time when the lights are on um, it's not not great during the day because there's too many people around uh, but just sort of walk you down to the waterfront give you one last view of the uh, uh, the famous River Mersey. So there we go. A couple of boats shooting around. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.